Hey, how is everybody doing? Today, we got an interesting patch. A collaboration with the anime, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I'm not sure if you watched it, but I've watched this series a couple of weeks. No, months ago on Netflix. I do like the Isekai series a lot, and I think this show is very interesting. But this anime also falls into the category of animes which I have no idea why it has to be an isekai in the first place. In case you do not know, isekai is a genre of fantasy anime where a character travels from the world they know to an unfamiliar one. I mean, it could have been a perfectly normal fantasy world with an overpowered protagonist but somehow you get this really rushed and gimmicky opening of how the main character dies, reincarnates and gets some ridiculous skill and proceeds to dominate the world. And there seem to be more and more of such animes appearing, more and more gimmicky. I do feel that it kind of dilutes the genre as a whole, but then again it does fulfill the fantasy of most people, breaking out of our mundane comfort shells and plunging into a world of new possibilities. Maybe that's why, no matter what gimmicky Sekai series comes out, I still do enjoy it. And maybe that's also the reason why we play Brown Dust 2, to escape from reality and be in control, to beat other people up and rise up in the ranks, to form a guild and make friends, or spend your hard-earned all wheel diamonds to collect your waifus. Speaking of waifus, all these limited edition collectibles and your soul gears, wow. How can I not spend my diamonds to collect them before I can never get them again? Laying down all the diamond traps before the 6th level patch. Hmm, round dust deaths are quite sneaky indeed. Do you know how much pain I had to go through to save all these precious diamonds? No Catherine, no Dalvi, no Kauli. Remember that trying to be challenger video? Yeah, I did get challenger the following week. But now, oh dear, I don't even want to look at it. Anyway, after all that ranting, here are the missionaries for this collaboration. I've looked through them briefly and the notable ones are Rimiru, Milim, and Benimaru. While Rimiru's gluttony is 2% decomposition at plus 0, it is a whooping 10% at plus 9. He can also copy buffs. I would have loved this skill if it applied after attack, but since it is a reflective counter, hmm, with the rise of reflective counter units, I predict that there will be a hard counter for them eventually. The damage reduction for his second skill is also insane at plus 13 and 15. Lastly, this awakened skill gives 10% max HP heal per turn and minus 40% incoming damage at plus 14. Overall, I think he is pretty decent, super annoying to deal with at the moment before the 6 devils patch. Next is Milim. I think Milim would be an awesome Ogdut attacker because her third skill does additional damage to enemy and 50% burn damage every turn for 6 turns, complementing her first skill which boosts 50% attack and 50% crit damage. Also, her awakened skill boosts 50% attack after being attacked. Her stigma also boosts incoming damage by 45%. And if you intend to max her, you can put a freaking dragon as your profile picture. What more can I say? Next, we have Benimaru. Benimaru's interesting point is that he deals fixed additional damage by 200% when health lag is removed. Wait a minute, does this mean he is used to counter Serendia? Wait, Serendaya's skill is to purify, right? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what is Serendaya's use rate? Hmm. 
200% damage should be able to kill off most units in Novice Arena. And he has good attack towers too. Gopta's skill set seems decent for world boss. The only problem is that his max HP is way too low, so he wouldn't be able to get a good score on transport world bosses anyway. And lastly, Xion. Hmm, I guess she's probably used as a thorn killer. I'm not sure, but don't really see much use for her. And she's also a four star. So in this event, there is the companion's gift portion where you get three chances every day to collect these companions. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pick the waifus first. We also have a new subcategory campaigns, which I will do later. And now, I think I will use some of my premium scrolls to summon for these units. Hopefully, we can get a copy of each, since we won't be able to collect any of these after this two weeks event. And so I'm just going to summon and hopefully we'll be able to get all of them. But I really want, I really, really want the pink hat girl, Shuna. I think she looks really pretty. So let's give it a go and let's see if we can get her. I can't believe I'm not summoning for the custom banner, but instead spending my scrolls and diamonds on these. Oh dear, I'm going to regret this so much. But who can resist the collaboration mercenaries right? Because we are going to get all of the companions from the event, and since Rimiru is free, we only need to get one 5 stars and three different 4 stars. We also want to get four more Shunas. Okay, we will first use our free recruit. Let's see what we get. Hmm, nothing. <laughs> Lydia. Alright. So let's try to get it in 47 premium scrolls. You know what? Let's not be too ambitious. We will use 147 premium scrolls. But we must control and not use the diamonds. Nice, we got Benny Maru. On our first 10 tries. That's one down and seven more unique ones to go. Now that we got Benny Maru on our first 10 pulls, let's swap in Gopta. Oh, we got a 4 star, who would it be? Shuna! Okay, so we have one Shuna, we need 3 more Shunas. Okay, another 4 stars. Gopta! Alright, that's enough of the goblins, let's swap him out and put in Xion. Okay, let's continue with the summoning. Nothing. Four stars. Who would it be? Gopta again! More of these pesky goblins. Four stars. Five stars. Oh, I wonder who it'd be. Would it be Milim or would it be the dragon? I hope it's Milim so we can uh, get unique characters. Milim it is! Sweet. Okay, so we got Milim and Gopta. Okay, this pool is pretty good. Let's continue. Trash. Trash. Gopta again. This is like the, the third Gopta already. Trash. Xion. And who's this? 
Shuna. Shion and Shuna in the same pool. That's great. Hope we can continue this streak. But first, let's swap out Shion with Benimaru first. Oh, who is this? Benimaru. Mm, four stars. Zoe. Oh man, could you give me a Shuna? I just need one more. I just need one more Shuna. Just give me one more Shuna in 27 pulls, please. Let's go. Benimaru. Can I have your companion, please? <laughs> okay, the last 10. Let's go, let's go. Seems pretty bleak. Usually when it's up to here, there is not much hope. <laughs> Indeed, trash. Seven single scrolls. Will this give me any luck? Daniel, Krog, Elaine, Melody, Eunice, Elaine, and that's it. So we can change for one shoe now with the 300 claws that we have changed from the event that will make four shunas and we are short of one shuna we are short of just one shuna but we cannot we cannot afford to use our diamonds guys we cannot we need to save it for the six devil's companion Anyway, thanks everyone who gave me likes on my profile. We have reached 500 likes. Let's see what the next goal is. That's all for today, and I wish you good luck on your pulls. Hopefully you can get the units that you want. And remember to save some diamonds for the 6 Devils patch.